All right, ladies and gentlemen, good people of the Tim Cord Nation. Let's do a little, uh, little VOD review. I don't know the best way to do these. Um, so I'm just going to do this like point at things in my mouse and then say words with my, in my mouth. So let's get started. I think there's like a desync at some point in here. Um, so I think, let me just double check this. Yeah, so Galosha's red and Sigen's white. So how are we starting this one off? Yeah, so, yeah, come on. Shine grab. Let's go, Sagan. Um. Okay. So, what do we have? We have Falco down here, and we have Falco up here in his shield. So, this is something I think a lot of people struggle with: is when their sh uh, their opponent is shielding on a platform above them. Um, I feel like especially when Falco did this is actually pretty dangerous for Sagan here because Glow can just like shield drop down near him. Um, I don't know what the answer is. Maybe you can like jump shine, that'd be cool. Um, you could probably just like turn around and up tilt him, that'd be good too. Uh, but I have a feeling you're probably gonna up air him. Oh no, that was good. See, yeah, you did the thing. Cool. Okay, that's what I would have done. If I was good at Falco, that's what I would have done. So like you jump up, you shine, and then you wave land. But um, that's also hard. But I think that's the right thing to do. So that's good. Good job, A plus. Uh, yeah, he shield rush doesn't do anything. Da, 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 da. Yep, that's a good down here. So, um, when Falco's facing you like that, I feel like he doesn't have many good forward facing hitboxes. Um, I feel like Nair's gonna lose the down there like 95% of the time. Uh, so yeah, good option. Then you shine after. Should be a pretty decent follow up. Sure. Oh, that smash is weird. I don't know. I think maybe you go for another um, Shine Waveland, because like even if you hit him with that up smash like you did, you're not going to get anything off it. Do, do, do. Oh, why is this so choppy? I hate it. I'll figure it out later. This back here. Yup. Okay. Um, oh, I can do this. That's how I, Okay. So this is good, you're extending your combo. I really like that forward there. Um, I don't like this Nair, because it's not gonna ever hit anything. Um, what you could do instead? I don't know. I feel like he DI'd and he got out. Like once you do this forward there, he's out. Um, and by like doing this Nair, trying to extend the combo, but I feel like there's probably nothing you can do here to extend the combo. Maybe you can go for a super hard read and like overshoot a dare over here somewhere. Um, or you could like read no tech, tech in place or tech away and that'll cover these options. So I think by teching away here, you actually did a really smart thing. Um, I'm not sure if you can cover tech away here, but you can probably cover like all of the options over here with a down air or something and like a pull up down here. So he gets away, that's fine. Uh, don't overextend. Yeah, I don't think you want to be here. I think being here is good. Okay. <laughs> uh, I feel like it's fine with the tech club or something, because you certainly don't want to fall off the stage. You get back though, that's alright. I like those lasers that kind of protect you. Uh, but now he's in center and you're in the corner, so you're going to have to, I imagine you're going to have to fight your way out. Yeah, so you just go in with it down there. And what was he doing? Yeah, so so again, you're both jumping at each other, but you're down there and he isn't. So you're going to win. So that's really good. I like that. Keep up the down airs. Like them. Uh, okay. And then after he knocked down. Yeah, I do the same thing. So <laughs> this is, I do the same thing and it's bad. So like you shield because you don't want to get hit by get of attack. And then he just like rolls away and you miss attack chase. It sucks, but. Yeah, you have to just like react to the, to the attack roll or this option. You can't just like shield like that because you're gonna miss so many uh, tech chases. But he gets out, you do a back air. Um, 
That's good. He could have just like retreated laser here. But he gets hit. So that's fine. We both run at each other. So you have a good feel for it. Just go for it. Okay. Yep. Yeah, mm, actually, the more I think of it, I don't really like that back here because you're not going to get anything off it except maybe percent. But it sort of feels like a risky thing to do because, like, if he backs off and lasers and then he can punish your landing. Um, yeah, I feel like the better option there is to. So, what was what happened before that? He rolled, right? Yeah, he tech rolled out. And then it's just like. it's. I mean, it hits. I don't know. Maybe it's fine. Probably overthinking it. Mm -hmm. Oh god, this is gonna take forever. We're 30 seconds in. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Down air shield, you land behind him. That's good. Okay. So um, after you landed behind him, it looked like you started to dash back. Um, that works against some characters. Against Falco, I think you're better off shining there just doing some shield pressure because his back air is going to cover if you uh, dash back. That's right, you were, uh, I think you were crouch canceling that, so that's really good. Be hit by up tilt. Yeah, so I think you could have shined that. I think you could have uh, crouch canceled and shined his back air. For the up tilt, that's all right. Yeah, see, he does the wave line on the platform. I think that's probably what you're supposed to do. Yeah, and he can cover so much there. Oh, it's crazy. What the heck, dude? Falco's busted. <laughs> down there, you sure. I think he probably could have shined you here. I don't know if shine or down there is uh, better for a combo starter, but he down there is. Do, do, do. Sure. Miss Tech, neutral get up. Yeah. Um. Okay, so when did you make the decision to neutral gather up, right? That's the question, because like he's here, and you probably input neutral gather up like here. Yeah, because he can, I think he can react to everything from here, so there's not really a whole lot you can go for. Maybe a gav attack, but that feels scrubby. Do, do, do. He's probably going to get hit. Yep, shine. He does the same <laughs> way of on the platform again. This time you gav attack, and this is going to hit. Yeah. Lasers, lasers. I like that. That was cool. So, um, you shot two lasers and you were like holding center. So you made them think you were just going to keep holding center. And then you, um, you've been approaching them a lot. So when you did that, uh, moonwalk, you made them sort of panic because he didn't want you to hit his shield. Yeah. See, he just goes for a narrow the shield. That's cool. Good job. And he nares again. He's been doing a lot of nares too. I think that's probably not the move. Yeah, good stuff. Alright, what happened here? <laughs> what was this? He's invincible. What, what is he doing here? He comes down from the angel platform. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this is like trolling, I think. That's fine. Just get out, run away. Did he crouch? How did that happen? I feel like this shouldn't be allowed to happen. Okay. So he jumped into it. Um, yeah, he jumped into it and then you sent him down, but he wasn't at high enough percent to get knocked down. So he just landed and shined. Dang, that's unlucky. I guess that's sort of the risk you take when you down here at low percent is that can happen. He shines. Up tilt. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I think you probably should have been dead here, really messed up. But you did the right option. Like, you came down. I like that double jump. And you come down with a down here. Yeah. I mean, you did the right thing. He messed up too, though. Yep. All good stuff there. I like that. I like what I'm seeing here. So what happens. You down there. And then you shine him. Yeah, what was yeah, good stuff. I like that. And then I think you could have shined again here. 
Because I think it's going to give you more than a back air. Yeah, I think you could have shined again there. That's hard to react to, though. I don't know if you can do that in reaction. <laughs> I don't play Falco, man. I don't know. But I think you could have shined there. And then um, you'd be like up here and you can do all your crazy Falco stuff. Yeah. But I mean, you're still... You're not going to die for doing what you did, so that's all right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's just, yeah. That's just a, a tech flood there. Do, do, do. Dash deck there. Yeah, good D. I, I would have held away there and died 100%. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Okay, um, why did that Nair work? I feel like this Nair shouldn't work. So he's in shield and you just Nair him. Did it shield poke? Oh, he jumped out. So you caught this jump with a Nair. Oh. Okay, I don't know why he jumped there. I feel like he could have stayed in shield. Because it's not, you haven't, well, you, you actually did shine grab him once. So maybe he was worried about getting shine grabbed again. Hmm. Okay, well it worked. Uh, I don't know what you could have done after the Nair. It was a weak hit Nair, I mean, I feel like that's all you're probably gonna get. Motorcycle. Um, do you just go for a down air trade here? I think you just do it. Like suicide dare here. If this is tournament, I think that's what you should do. Yeah, I think if it's tournament, you suicide dare there. It's a super good trade for you. Or actually, I don't think you even have to. Like, you can just wait here. You can, like, down smash him or down near him. I think you got a little antsy and down near too early. You can even, like, drop down and shine down near or something. Um, but that's fine. If I have the... <laughs> I don't know what those lasers are. That was weird. Uh, you fall down with a near here, and I, again, I don't know what's going to happen next. I feel like he's probably going to punish it. Um, yeah. This is like a Sheik move. Um, and Sheik only does it because she has no better options. But, um, yeah, I feel like just falling down with a near like that is super risky because he can just dash back and hit him, hit you. Uh, it's like that thing I said that Falcos, when they come down from the top platform, they always do a really bad aerial and you can just dash back and grab him. Okay, well he doesn't punish it, but he could have. Um, so you match by shoot a laser, sure. I'm sorry, you don't need to commit to anything. You're in the lead anyway, so this is fine. One, two, do you shine grab after this? Do you shoot two lasers, run and shine grab? Nope, you don't want to dare. Ah, those are the really high breathe. Okay. One, two. So you get him in his shield, and then he jumps out. So he's actually been jumping out of shield a lot. Like a whole lot. Um, it seems like you're catching on to him, because I think this down there does catch a jump out of shield, but you just need to do it a little bit earlier. Okay, so you're going for another read here, too. You're like reading he's going to jump off a platform or something. Yeah, you're trying to like cover a shield drop, right? That makes sense. And then you're still safe. Like you're going towards center stage. Um, if he doesn't shield drop, he can't punish you. I guess what he could have done is like read you covering that shield drop and like dashed this way and then shield dropped and hit you with the back air. So that's something to keep in mind. Huh? So he drops through, he double jumps. Okay, well, I, <laughs> if I was a Falcon main, I'd be like, this guy, I don't know what he's doing here. So I would just like go over here and shoot, shoot a laser and just try to catch his landing. Because um, like he can only go like, he can he can threaten like this. If you just go over here and like shoot a laser, you can catch his landing. Um, yeah, I don't like this snare. Because uh, this snare 
Yeah, I think it loses. I mean, it for sure loses to if he down airs, it loses to that, and I think it'll probably trade with this back air. Um, I think if you're gonna approach him and attack him like this, you want to do an up air instead. Try to get up to him, cause like even if you hit him with the snare, it's not gonna combo into anything. Um, an up air might. Yeah. Okay. So he just straight up wins. Yeah. So I mean, if he's if he's like up here, right? It's it's super risky to try to intercept him here, cause like he can back air down there. Um. Yeah, I think it's probably better just to just to go over here and just catch his landing. Or you could like dash this way and like just do a back air and see if it hits. That would cover like his down air, but I think it would lose to his back air. Um, be good on the platform. Now see, you're in sort of a similar situation here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> go on. But I mean, it's actually, it's a good thing to do. I actually like that. It throws off timing at, um, because like otherwise if you're up here you can land like here but if you up B you can land like all over here and it just changes a lot and that gives you more options i don't mind that it's fine oh god there's two minutes left we're a third of the way through this is taking 35 hours okay i think there's a okay yeah we'll get to that later um yeah i mean it's not like you can combo off this or anything uh oh actually maybe you could have maybe you could have shine there I don't know if Shine gets you anything here. So maybe up here is the right option. This is, I actually don't know. And Shine, he goes up here. Maybe he can, so maybe you can like Shine and then back air him, get him off the stage. Um, Cause up here, yeah, up here is gonna like send him here. And I think you wanna like, at this percent, you wanna get him off stage. Um, but yeah, it does that weird Falco thing where it doesn't move him at all. Sucks to suck, dude, pick a real character. Uh, he messes up a shield drop here, I'm pretty sure. I wonder if he can... You can probably react to that, right? Well, you're probably reacting to, like... You're probably reading him shield dropping, so you're trying to cover that. Because, like, rolling here probably doesn't even cross your mind. It's like, why would you do that? It makes no sense. You're both in the back here, right? Oh. Okay, so you probably tried to jump in, um... Shine him, which is probably a good a good move, but you side bead. Um, yeah, whatever. Hit you with the back here, you're probably dead. Yeah, that's fine. I think you had the right idea. I think shining there is good. Okay, so here are the video desyncs, or like the the replay desync for me. So, uh, <laughs> good stuff, dude. <laughs> You're killing it. Mm hmm. Yeah, we're just seeing a lot of really good play here. Yup. Love it. Well, I just love everything I'm seeing out of both players right now. Yup. A lot of down smashes. Yeah. Gnarly stuff. It, uh, it fixes itself eventually. Okay, so now we're back. <laughs> oh, this is this is great. Look, two Falcos facing each other down. Um, what do you do here, right? Do you just laser? I feel like you both just laser. I feel like that's the right answer, but I don't know. I actually don't know the answer to this one either. Okay, so I think you tried to wave land on this platform, which is maybe also the answer. Like you wave land here and then you can cover this because he's probably, okay, yeah, no, cool. Okay, so you wave land here because you think he's gonna try like approaching with laser. Um, and then you can cover like this spot from up here. Um, and even if he doesn't, being on the platform is fine because if, if he shoots a laser, it's not gonna hit you. Um, cool. Yeah, I like that. Wave landing on platform, good idea. Ooh, 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 I like this. Yeah. Okay. This is I like this. I like I like this. I like this laser a lot. Um. Yeah. So what can he do, right? You see him jumping. What's he gonna do? Nair at you? Yeah. It's exactly what he does. It's what he's been doing all game. So um. Yeah. Really good laser. I like that. 
So now he's probably gonna shield after, right? Oh, he tries to dash back. Okay. Yeah, he dashes back at a laser. That'll happen. Uh, what can you do? Well, no, maybe you can't do anything after that. Um, but that's fine, because you didn't get hit there. It was a defensive laser anyway. It's not like you need to start the combo off of it. Like, it was good enough just to get him off you there. And now he's jumping away from you, which is really good. Yeah, so you just retake center. And then you catch his landing with a dash attack. Yes, that's really good. Okay. So now you've, like, conditioned him enough where he doesn't feel safe just, like, throwing out a back air or a down air here, right? Um, so now you're mixing it up by throwing the dash attack. Yes. I like that. Okay, big punish. Jump up, shine. Jump up, shine. Up air. Okay, so if this up air hits, yeah, I just really like shine here more. Because, like, shine's better if he gets a shield out. And if he doesn't, um, if he, like, misses tag or he tags in place here, it's good because he covers that. Um, and if he, like, tags to the side, you can still shield drop out of shine and probably cover it in time, just because the roll animation is so long in these small platforms. Um, but this up air is like a, it covers two options. Um, it's really hard to time, and I don't think you get anything off it, even if it hits. Maybe you get a down air, I don't know. Yeah, then he shield right down there, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that up air is poop. I think it's a poop up air. I'll say it. Uh, he's comboing you. Nah. You missed your tag. <laughs> he's still a chic player at heart. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Wavelands in the platform. I do the same thing. Do you think the exact same thing? I never run in a chic here. I always wave on this wavelength on this platform. Um, that's funny, because you can cover everything. He's going down there, or shine. Okay, well he should have done something. This grab is bad, poopy, stupid. He should have like landed in shiny or something. Shine's so much faster than grab. Why the fuck was? Why would he grab you? Well, it works. I think you're trying to up tilt him. So, uh, eh. is that what's happening? Yeah. So you, you, shine comes out frame one. If you want someone to get off you and they're that close, just press down B. Don't try the up tilt. Just press down B. Up throw. It's none of the, yeah, it's a fake move. I would have back thrown you. <laughs> uh, up throw up air. Yeah, I mean, whatever. You're fine. Edge guard situation. Um, he does good lasers there, though. Okay, so. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of hard to, to analyze that when he just like jumps off the stage he's like oh shoot I need to I'll be back home um, I feel like instead of doing that back there you could have um, just like side beat back on but whatever it's it's a weird situation Fire. Fire. Um, okay this whole thing seems sloppy to me um, yeah, I mean, he misses the grab. Whatever. So. So what do you do here to not get hit? I feel like you just got hit. I feel like you should just get hit here. Maybe you have to get a different place. But you should probably just always get hit here. Yeah, I think you, you probably should have lost your stock here. Down your rush shield, that's good. Uh, maybe it isn't actually. Maybe you could have um, waved that shine. Because there's a lot of lag on that. Yeah, that's rough. Uh, maybe a back air too. Yeah, I think back air is probably the answer here because it'll knock him off. He's at high percent. Yeah, I think he's just back air here. Yeah. And he's like probably holding away because he was just dashing that way too. Um, and he gets a shield up in time. I think he probably should have shined after that down there. Because he, again, he's been jumping out of shield a lot. And that's something you picked up on earlier. 
Um, but you have Tope. It's a timing mix-up, I guess. Uh, so maybe it's fine. Whee! <laughs> Two Falcos jumped at each other. One down airs, one neutral airs. Who wins? The down air wins. Of course, it always wins. Galosh, if you watch this, stop nairing at Falco, dude. Stop. You're not playing Sheik anymore. Yeah, okay, so Falco has really long tech rolls. So this is hard to do, but, um, like a, uh, like a super good player will, um, they'll be able to cover this. So it, it's just something like you need to lab because like, okay, I mess these up all the time too. Um, it's super hard, but the best way to improve your punish game is to be able to tech chase uh, in situations like this. Uh, but China's the right option. He was just too far away. Um, but you realize you don't overextend, which is really good. So you just go back to send. You go back to neutral, and you and you go back to send, center stage. So that's really good. Because he's crouching, dude. He's ready for you. He's ready for you. Yeah, he's dashing back. He was ready for you to approach there. So that was good that you did this. Two lasers and then down there. Yeah. Got to mix it up a little bit more there. Um, you shot two lasers, then gotten in like every single time so far. So you just be more careful about that. Um, yeah, that's fine. You probably know that. How is he down here here? Does he jump over the laser? So he takes it, and then, yeah, he jumps over that laser. Hmm. I don't really know much about Falco laser heights. Maybe there is one that covers like this jump and also him standing. I don't know. But you get down there. It'll happen. Yeah, you're probably gonna go. Alright, you come down with the laser. Yeah, like maybe this tight does it. But that was like off of a thing, so I don't know if you could do that off a short up. <gasps> oh, it totally doesn't do the one right over his head. What the heck, Falco sucks. Okay, so this time you shot one laser and you down there. So he was probably expecting to, so he was probably expecting to run up and like shield your laser and then punish you. That's good. Yeah, see, look at that. That's good stuff. Uh, he has good DI there. Okay, he kills himself. You probably could have edge guarded anyway. He was, he was dead there most likely. What happened here? So he did the exact same thing you did. <laughs> Except to say there was a way up here. Um, and does he down there after? Yeah, so you both, <laughs> this is actually funny, you both did the exact same thing. Like, this literally just happened. Oh, he did it down there, though. He lasered, he thought you would run away. Does he know he's playing against you? It sucks, and underscore never runs away. Yeah, so this is good. So it, it, there's been a few times so far this game where you've just, um. you haven't overextended, and you've taken back center instead. Uh, so that's really good. I think that's super important, especially as Falco. Because uh, if I was pause, it's kill percent. Uh, so being in center stage is really good. That's some high level analysis, by the way. Not every coach will tell you that being in center stage is good. But um, when you get super high level, you start to realize that. Uh, also, FD doesn't have platforms. So what happens here? He comes down. You go to the center. Oh, so I keep missing it. This game's too fast. I can't understand what's happening all the time. I'm too old. So you laser. Laser shield. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is like unlucky, right? You shot the laser like a frame too early. Um. And then you see him jumping at you, so you shield. So. You're sort of playing like you didn't expect that laser to hit. Um, and it works because it didn't, but I feel like here you should expect that laser to hit and play like it will. Because like if he's jumping at you like that, he's probably going to get hit by that laser. Okay. Anyway. That's just like a weird little thing. 
feel like, okay, so I had to record this while I was sleeping. I feel like it didn't record at 60 frames a second. Okay, so he hit you. Yeah, so shine, uh, I mean, laser shine. Classic Falco stuff. You hate to see it. He misses his, his uh, wave dash on a shield. That's fine. So, yeah, you just got to be, like, holding down in the way here and try the SDI out. Just test your bro. Falco has no combos. Okay, so you get out. Yeah, I mean, he messes up. But that's fine. Attack roll away. Okay, so why does this snare work and the others haven't? Okay, so now we're sort of catching on. Maybe that's what's happening. He's catching on to you wanting to be in center stage. And you've been maybe a little too impatient about it. Um, hmm. <laughs> maybe you roll in here. Okay, so Falco's here, right? You're Falco here. You have to make a decision now. What do you do? Yeah, I can see why you wouldn't want to roll in. Um, and dashback lasers were scary too. Maybe you wave land on the platform. I mean, he hasn't been, yeah, I don't think you've done that yet this game. So maybe you jump up here and you wave land on this platform. Yeah, so I think that's good because that covers him like jumping back and lasering. And it also covers him jumping forward and nearing you. Um, the only way he could like hit you for that is if he hard bred you wave landing up here and he like shined up here or something. But you haven't done it yet this game, so I don't see why he would do that. Um, but you try to down there instead, which... Mm -hmm. Yeah, where like he sort of has the tempo here. Yeah, I don't think that down there is going to... I don't think it's a good down there. When he has the tempo like this. So he's sort of controlling the pace right now. So you down there, there is like a get off me move, but he's already started his jump and you haven't. Um, so your get off me move is going to come out too late. Uh, so maybe another option is like at this point you just hold down. Um, and you know he's been nearing a lot, so you just like hold down and get ready to counter them. Yeah. Uh, near shine. So he's been going for all game. Up air. So does he catch your jump here? I think he does. Yeah. So, yeah. Dude, yeah. <laughs> It's hard, but double jumping here is, is never a good idea. So if you get hit by like anything without your double jumping, you're knocked off stage, you just die. So you just gotta like take the beating and just keep your double jump. Yeah, cause now you're dead. Okay, hypothetically you're dead there. So you, you, probably, you probably should have died there, but he just messed up the down air timing. Yep. Um, same thing again, just a little late in the tech chase. He gets a shield up in time. It's good. I mean, you're, you're going for the right option, though, which is just shining it, because, um, yeah, shine's super good for, for tech chasing because it comes out on frame one. That goes busted. Uh, but yeah, you just go back to center. Again, you're not overextending. That's good. So you're respecting his out of shield option here. So you know he can back there, you're out of shield here, so you just go to center stage. You're probably going to turn around and shoot a laser. Okay. <laughs> Forgot who I was talking about. <laughs> no, that's still really good though, because it's down there. Um, if he does back air here, uh, you're down your rope on the shit. So that's really good, good stuff. Um, again, he wailed into the platform as a get as an escape option, which is something um I think you should probably pick up and start doing. You up tilt? Good. Yeah, because he was trying to shield her up. So you up tilt. I love this up tilt. Do Falcos always complain? Let me go on a little rant here. Falcos, I always complain. She, she, she's in the platform with her shield up, and I can't do anything. It's like, bruh. Look at this. Just up till. Yeah, he's. He wants nothing more in this world than the shield up down there. You right here. Um, that up here actually pushes him away. I don't know if that's a thing or not. I don't know if that's because he light shielded. Um, but it worked. Again, I think you can probably, like, uh, Waveland Shine. You can probably even do, like, Waveland Shine grab. I don't know what the grab gets. Falco Star. 
Uh, full hop, you double jump. Yeah, okay, so so I think that's what you're probably trying to do, but it's hard. Yeah, I mean, you just gotta grind it out. I can't do it either. Um, you're probably gonna get hit for this, right? Unless it shield pokes, it might. Okay. So, yeah, you catch a jump out with a, uh, yeah, good, good stuff. You catch a jump out of the shield with a, with a shine. So, again, he's been jumping enough shield after one hit a lot. So, um, you catch with a shine. Good stuff, good stuff. Shine grab. Okay, so, yeah, I, th I think in, hmm, <laughs> I think this far into the game, shine grab is a bad choice here because you should know that he's been jumping out of shield a lot. Yeah, I mean, you, you gotta hit these. Yeah. I mean, you, yeah, you just gotta be able to uh, attack chase here. Like, you just gotta be able to jump up and shine that. It's a phantom hit. I really don't, I literally don't know what happened here. 5%. I actually don't understand what happened here. I guess probably because Derek doesn't do 5%. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. So he shield drops. Um, and you shield. You're probably also trying to shield drop here, right? Um, but I think you probably shine after that there. Because his shield is nothing, so they'll probably shield poke. Yeah, like if you shine here instead, it probably hits. And it catches his shield drop too. You know he's a shield dropper. Um, I don't even know what move that is. Did you forward there? Did you shield drop forward there? Yeah. Yeah, shield drop forward there is a... Yeah. You're not playing cheek, dude. Come on. Um, I think if you were committed to shield dropping here, you probably should have dared. Unless you're trying to go for, like, a huge IQ play and, like, shield drop forward there and, like, focus legs or something. But even then, I don't think it gets you anything. Especially not 29%. Um, yeah, I mean, he could have just held down here and shined you. He shields and then he, uh, he shines you anyway. I actually don't know how he got that shine. Oh, he double jumped. So he jumped, shine, double jump. Yeah, I mean, this back here is not really going to get him much. It'll get you off stage, but you still have your double jump, and you're at pretty low percent, so I don't think you'll die here, right? You'll probably just, like, double jump and side be back on. Or you'll double jump and down there. I don't know what he's doing with these edge cards. His edge cards have actually been pretty bad. Like, what are you, what are you doing going down there, Gavosh? What the, what the heck, dude? He's all the way up here. <laughs> he's like, he's up here. What are you doing going down here? Ugh. But you get back. Um, double, that, that down there is... um. I mean, you probably know, but it's a pretty big gamble. Because, again, he can just, like, move back and, like, forward smash you even. If he reads it. And then, like, you're for sure dead at, like, 80%. And that kind of sucks. Um, I like that up tilt. But it's such a weird position. I don't really want to comment on it more. <laughs> I bet this down there wins. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, down here, super good. It's a good move, man. Uh, yeah, good choice. I mean, you, you're you beating his nair with down there a ton. And I think that's, um, if you're going to take away one thing from this set, okay, if you're going to take one thing away from this set, it's like get by the tech chasing, especially on platforms. If you're going to take away two things from this set, down there is really good in the ditto, especially in um, scramble situations like that. Um... But let's think about what he could have done instead, right? So I, what do I do if I'm Red Falca here? Actually, I think, I think like, yeah, I don't think there's really much he could have done here. He could have shielded maybe, but um, that's a smelly poo poo option. Yeah, I mean, I think this is, I think this is good down here. I mean, he could have like ran off and double jump back there. I think it's the one thing he could have done to beat this down there, but he's not going to do that. 
because he doesn't want to lose his last dock. So yeah, this is just a really good down here. Covers everything. Except maybe if you rolled in. I think it's the only thing you could have done here to um to not get hit. Yeah, so uh another thing I wanted to say here is like again, you notice the tempo, right? Like you're a little bit earlier, so it hits. Tech chase, tech chase, tech chase. Shine his ass. Let's go slug in. Okay, that's smash is good to go. Yeah, you're gonna get them off stage. Good stuff. Back here. Uh. Uh, just back air him. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? He's dead if you back air him. Why did you down there? You know better. Okay, well, there's still there's still stuff we can talk about. Oh, this breaks my heart, dude. Just, just finish it. Just finish the stock. Come on. Okay. Um, What happens? Oh. He hits you, yeah, he gets you with a laser. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think it's just a read on his part, right? Like he read you approaching him. Um, and this is already going on long enough, so yeah, it's just a, just a good read from him. And you try to double jump again. So you've been double jumping out of hits on a lot. Just be careful of that. Um, especially since he's like, he already caught on to it. Well, I don't know if it, that one's really a, a, a catch on to it, but now he's trying to catch on to it. Like th this up there is a read. For sure a read. So just be careful. He should have back aired you. Okay. Um, you panic back aired here. So you were like, I don't want to get hit anymore. So you back aired. Um, yeah, and that's sort of like counter to what you've been doing this whole time, which is like retreating the center and controlling center. Like, again, if, if you go back to center here and shoot a laser, I think it's a billion times better than back airing here. Because, um, again, he's like, it's his turn, right? Yeah, so he, he mixes you up. I mean, he could have hit you for that. I'm pretty sure he could have hit you for that. Um, now you're in shield. Okay, so this is bad, right? You're in shield and he's on a platform above you. That's a really bad spot for Falco. So I don't think and like either of you have rolled once this entire set. Maybe now is the time to like roll in towards center. Or even roll away over here because he's never going to cover that. Yeah, so you try to jump up and that's, yeah. I mean, he's going to shield drop here every single time. Yeah. So now it's his turn to tech chase you. Yeah, and he's late, so you get up and shine. I mean, it's a good option, right? Get up shine is something I complain about for a reason. It's a good option. So you picked you picked a good option here. And then um, he was late. It's a chump check, but it's good. It's a good chump check. Down there. Ah, oh, sucked in. Sucked in. Just kill him. <laughs> Why do you do this? No, I mean, I get it. It's not bad in there, but if you just like down there, he dies. I think. Maybe he goes here. I don't know. I don't play Falco. Did he jump into it? Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, good redo. You're sick. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Good lasers. Did he hit you for those lasers? I feel like he shouldn't have. You hit him with both, right? Oh, no, this one missed. Never mind. I still like the lasers. Yeah, and it's a jump. So, okay. So this is sort of like mirroring what happened last time. Falco's above you and you're trying to jump into him. You can't do that. Like with any character, you can't do that. You just need to punish his landing. Just like get out. Again, like you haven't rolled in once yet, so you probably have a few of those you can burn before he starts trying to catch on to him. Um, yeah, so you get hit because you tried to jump into Falco. Now he's tech chasing again. Yeah, it's a little bit of a bait there, huh? This is a chic thing. Yeah, so he was trying to bait you into neutral get up because he didn't feel like tech chasing. Um, yeah, but you did the right thing. You got out. And you shined again, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you have enough time to like not do the shine because it's not going to hit. I don't know. I don't know if you can react to like him jumping over here and just choose to not shine there. I'm not saying like you personally, I'm saying the, the general you. Oh, but now you're both dashing back. You're in center, so you're winning. He needs to approach you. Yes, I love that laser. Ooh. Yep, you probably win here, right? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, you're so ridiculous. Um, That's good. Good stuff. You're controlling center. You're making him, you're saying, come to me, and then you're counter hitting him. It's good. Now he's knocked down. Tech Jason. Tech Jason, please. Tech Jason. Tech Jason. Yeah, you're going for a read here, but you, yeah, you just need to be comfortable not to uh, actually tech chase. Okay, so he's probably expecting you to shoot the laser once or twice and then down there. Going in with a raw down there is a. I don't think you've done it much this set, so it's a good mix up. Um, it covers a lot. He doesn't really have a lot of stage to be running around here like that, so it's good that you. It's a good down there. I guess he could have like dash backed and um, punished you, but it worked. It's fine. It's a read. Kill him. And him. Neutral air. Jump up and nair him, dude. Nair off the stage. He dies. <laughs> so good. Why? He's at 120%. You just end it. You're not going to be able to do anything cool at this percent anyway. Just kill him, dude. No one, will, no one will think any lesser of you. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's going to hit you, isn't he? Yeah, he's going to back it. Ah. Oh, we'll desync there. It's fine. We'll figure it out. We'll get there. Okay, well, you get a back there in your goal. It's desyncing, so I can't really say much. Yeah. Um, cool. All right, I think that's the end. Uh, I don't feel the need to make any sort of summary or anything. This has gone long enough. Uh, stay blessed.